you just get bit? No. The Cobra experience was super crazy. I wasn't even gonna take the job because the guy was just like, oh, I don't wanna wait till amnesty day. I've got these venomous snakes. He didn't even tell us that they were Cobras. And I was like, yeah, dude, we don't really do that. Justin was like, we need to get these off this guy's hands. And he was right. You can't package your snakes like this, man. He didn't even have them in the proper cases. He has them in cardboard boxes. Really, dude? Cardboard boxes? Come on. In the box before anybody does. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm tired, I'm hungry. If we find this place for them, McCarthy's Wildlife, I'm sure it's a heck of a lot better than where they came from. These were really dangerous animals and it was just a happy ending all around. The snakes were in a new happy home, the new owners were happy, I was happy because they weren't gonna be in my office. It was a great day. Andrew, what's the plan? The plan is stay alive, Rick. When we had to move those Bengal tigers down from South Florida to South Carolina, that was a pretty intense trip. Craziest moment was definitely when he had to go in there with them. Kind of wish he didn't do it. He could have died. But sometimes things like that have to be done. I mean, I'm willing to do it, but I'm glad Andrew did because I'm not going to. Then we got hit with a curveball. The guy didn't have just the two adults. He had two cubs they needed to take with us. The highlight for me were those two little cubs. Those little Bengal cubs, man, they're just kittens and they're loving all over you. It was just fantastic. We ended up taking these tigers from Miami to South Carolina. So you're talking about 14 hour drive with four tigers with you. So it's pretty intense stuff. Not only are the dangers of the tiger, but then to keep the safety of the tiger as well. I mean, we don't want anything to happen to these tigers. One of the greatest parts of these jobs is not only do we transport animals, but the places that we get to see and visit. Whenever would you get to swim with a, a huge African elephant to a river? I mean, that was incredible. On freaking believable climbing on top of this big elephant. That way, my elephant friend. <laughs> oh, just the coolest thing that's ever happened to me in my life.